Okay. Last delivery of the night. Oh. A bit spooky out. Well, someone better answer before Slenderman picks me up. going. I <laughs> uh, got a uh, delivery for a large pie, a liter of Coca-Cola, some bread nuts, uh, candy, plates and napkins. Straight from Pizza Planet. Yeah, this here's your pizza. <laughs> no, this is not a Domino's box. It's uh, straight from Pizza Planet. See right here? Pizza. Planet. I mean, we're all about customer satisfactory over there at the uh, pie shop. So uh, I just wanted to go over uh, your items before you pay for them. Make sure everything's uh, top notch. Yeah. It's a pretty nice neighborhood you got going on here. Yeah, I had to park my truck a little bit down the way. It's on private street. Oh, fancy. Take a look with me here. We got you a real nice looking fresh pie here. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have to admit, I cut this one myself. Not my best work, but uh, you ordered yourself an ultimate pepperoni, is that correct? You did. Good, good. I got the. Uh, Extra drizzle of the Asiago cheese, as requested. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with pepperoni. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Here, just to show you that it's fresh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pick that boy up there. You can really get a good look at all that cheese on there. Yeah. Uh, I washed my hands on my lunch break, don't worry. Really, well, that was around uh, 3 p.m. I'm well aware that's uh, 7 p.m. So, no worries. See right here, you can really hear the crunchiness of the pepperonis. Listen, listen to this. That's crunchy. You don't want this piece? Tell you what, I'll take this piece off your hands just to show you that it's a fresh pie. Huh? Mm. To die for. So, you satisfied with the pizza? Good, good. I'll box this baby back up for you. So, how's the night been? Throwing a party? There's your pie. What's the occasion? Nice, nice, okay. Well, oh, almost forgot. Got you some ranch dressing for the pie right there. Mm hmm. Wanna make sure you, uh. able to have as many dipping sauces as you like for your pizza, you know, because there are times where I'll order a pizza and it's drier than the Sahara Desert. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. It's a little chilly outside tonight. Glad the company gives us these windbreakers, so put your uh, dressing on there for you. And uh, if I'm correct, you ordered the uh, Garlic, uh, no, the Parmesan bread bites, is that correct? Parmesan bread bites. <laughs> I gotcha. So you can see, 
very legit. We have uh, our Pizza Planet logo on there. P I Z Z A P L A N E T Pizza Planet. How about we pop this baby open and uh, take a look at those Parmesan bites? Oh, trust me, I can go for one right now. They look delicious. I bake these babies extra special this afternoon just for you. Well, son of a monkey's uncle. Look at that. Look at that uh, crispy flavor. Baked to perfection. Yeah, you got the uh, Parmesan flavoring on there. I like to drizzle on a little extra layer of Parmesan when it's done baking. That way, the Parmesan can get a nice light brown crust on top of that bread. Oh, trust me, these babies are not dry. We drew a nice uh, base of an olive oil on top. And the oil itself doesn't have too much flavor, so you should be good with these. Yeah, but just in case you may think they're a bit dry, uh, hooking you up with some uh, marinara sauce. I know, I know, I'm just amazing. I'm gonna do my best to uh, help you out. Make sure you guys have a nice get together going on. How many people are in there? <laughs> uh, you need another? <sighs> no. Okay. I understand. Ooh. Uno. Someone's in there playing Uno. I'm a Uno monster. I love that game. I would love to play it with some friends. All right. Well, here you can see. The bread is nice, and as I said before, cooked to perfection, baked at 350 for a perfect amount of time, you know, just to get you enough of that uh, crustiness. It's absolutely delicious. I know you'll be more than happy with it, more than satisfied. Okay, how about uh, give me a little bit of a taste test? Hmm? Yeah, you'll, you'll love this. Okay, here we go. Was another crunch. Mm. Perfect. This is so good. I'm telling you, even though I had my lunch back at three, I didn't eat much. No. I was able to pack enough um, this morning was in a rush to get to work. What did I have? I had half of a magic brownie. Um, oh, some water. A little, little quart of water. And uh, I think uh, oh, a spoonful of mashed potatoes. Yeah. Can't go wrong with the potatoes. That was it. You seem like you're waiting for more. No, I don't eat much. Until I end up delivering something to someone's house, if they're nice enough to let me taste test it, make sure it's not poison for him. Could have a nice little late night dinner, yeah? Yeah. Wanna try one? You're gonna wait. I understand. Mind if I take one of your napkins? Appreciate it.
Mm. Delicious. Oh, I'll pick that up on my way out. Don't worry about that. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna box these babies back up. Sound good? Perfect. So. Ah. You got your pizza. You got your bread bites. Can't forget your marinara sauce. There you go. Looks like the only remaining things you ordered were plates, napkins, some candy, and a liter of Coke. Is that correct? All right. Let's bring out the Coca-Cola. Now this Coca-Cola is to die for, in my opinion. It is. Absolutely delicious. It's a, it's a Coke that, uh, that I would be more than happy to drink with you if you guys will invite me in. No, okay, excuse me. Um, it's all intact here. It's a full liter of Coca-Cola. I know we offered you the Sprite, but for some reason you didn't want the Sprite. Um, we also carry Dr. Pepper as well. I'm not, not a Dr. Pepper guy. Okay. Uh, Pepsi. No Pepsi. Hmm. Well, hey, you're a Coke person. I totally understand. I'm just going to open it up to make sure everything is tip-top for you. Okay? Let's listen to that, uh, that tss. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get the uh, top off. <sighs> and of course, due to store policy, I do have to check if this is poison, so give me one sec. <sighs> oh no. That's good Coke. Yeah. Do you want to try some? No. I get it. Don't worry. I'm just gonna get this cap back on. Give me a sec. Now that you got your Coke all nice and ready in there, you're good to go. Oh, when it bubbles like that, it means it's really happy and it's getting extra flavor. Uh, so if I were you, I would give it a couple shakes before uh, opening, okay? Okay. Put this right over here for you. Ah. Now, it looks like uh, you need those uh, plates and napkins, right, before we uh, get you your dessert. Yeah, no, I brought them here. So, to go with the uh, Beats Planet logo, we got you some red plates and some white napkins. Start with the napkins. These are some five-star fancy napkins. Now, just listen to how soft this fabric is. You gotta be kidding me. These are softer than clouds in the sky. Are you kidding me that this right here, all you need is one, bada bing, bada boom, blip, blam, and you're clean. You're completely done. So I'm gonna leave these napkins with you right here. All right, and how about we look at those plates? You need to eat the pizza on something. You know, some people want to just uh, grab the pizza for themselves, keep it in their hand, and eat it that way. But 
it's not the Pizza Planet way. Here we have some red plates. Now, these are made of a very sturdy plastic material. They're limited edition Pizza Planet plates. Listen to this. Absolutely to die for, am I right? I mean, where else can you get plates? <laughs> Pizza Planet. It's the only place. What do you mean Pizza Hut has plates? Domino's has plates too? Well, I know that. I had to order this pizza. Um, Domino's has plates, huh? Well, as long as Papa John's doesn't have any plates, they have plates too. Okay. I brought you a good amount of plates. When I heard you on the phone, sounded like you had company over. I wanted to make sure that everybody was able to get a slice. So, uh, get yourself a solid uh, 15 to 20 plates here. I'll go ahead and set that down there for you. And you could enjoy that with your pizza, but this is not done yet. I'm going to get you that candy you ordered. Mm hmm. Control -y gummies. Absolutely delicious. These are actually some of my favorite gummies. I believe I uh, put them right over here. Trolley crawlers. Very berry. <laughs> Great choice. Definitely uh, a person of culture, I would say. Uh, these, these, uh, most people go for the normal sour gummy worms, but the very berry ones have the best flavors. Flavors in here include uh, raspberry, blueberry, delicious. Strawberry, blackberry, so good. Um, blue raspberry, berry punch. Now, if those aren't some of the nicest, most delicious, delectable flavors, I, I don't know what are. Because these, these berry flavors, top of the line. If you need any help with these, these are sealed, so they're not poison, but if you need any help finishing these, I'd be more than happy to open them and take a bite for you. You don't want me to. Okay. I totally get it. I'll set this dessert right here. And it looks like you actually ordered uh, one more dessert, is that correct? Yeah. You got another candy here. Did you forget about that? Ordered yourself some Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks are a classic candy that almost anybody would be able to enjoy. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to enjoy Pop Rocks, okay? As you see in there, we got uh, a lot of really good looking Pop Rocks. This one is the uh, strawberry flavor. So what you want to do is you want to put the Pop Rocks directly into your mouth. And then you want to open your mouth so everyone can hear the popping. So let's try some.
delicious. Now, I've just eaten about half of the Pop Rocks that you were, were supposed to eat out of this package, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the rest for you. Now that you know how to eat Pop Rocks, you won't look dumb in front of any of your friends. A lot of them will look at you and be like, that guy, that guy knows how to eat Pop Rocks. All right, so you got your pizza, your bread bites, you got uh, your trolley crawlers, uh, sour, sour bright crawlers, got your plates, even got you some napkins, your one liter of Coca-Cola, and of course that ultimate pepperoni pizza. Your total's gonna be coming out to forty-five seventy-nine. Yeah, we're running a deal. You buy one pizza and you pay for it. That's our deal. Is that gonna be cash or card? Card, okay. Have a device right here. That's going to help me. All right. So if you can just go ahead and use the tap on your card on the back of my phone case there, I'll be able to take the payment. Perfect. Okay, dogs. Payment is going through. And uh, did you want to add a tip of any kind, huh? You want a 15%, 80% tip, 70, 60, 50? Wow. They're very generous of you. I had to fight off some uh, mountain lions over there when, up here in the forest, so I appreciate you uh, doing that. Yeah. Mountain lions aren't in the forest. Then why are they called forest lions? Got them. All right. Perfect. Your total is added up and your payment has been processed. I just want to thank you again for allowing me to spend this time with you. You're my last delivery of the night. I wanted to make sure everything was perfect for you. All right. You got yourself a nice place here. Yeah. Nice wood going on there. Nice little greenery. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. All right. Well, you have yourself a great day. I'm going to leave you with all the food and all your fixings. And I'm going to go ahead and... What was that? You want me to come in and take a bite with you guys, eat some pizza and hang out? Then don't mind if I do. I mean, I'm off in about five minutes. I can stand out here and stare in through the window for another five minutes until I have to clock out. Would you let me in now? Okay, because that'd be weird. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, yeah, let me just make sure I'm ready. Whew, come on, don't forget to smile. All right, I think I'm ready to meet some people. Hey, how you doing, Pizza Planet guy? Not like that, that's creepy. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not about to sneeze. Okay, I'm overthinking this. How about we head inside? All right, thanks again. <laughs>